friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it's Friday, it's the weekend and it is a WW Workshop Topic Day. We're gonna talk about my week, set some goals for next week and let's chat about this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer macros and calories personal to you. You need this, like absolutely need this to be successful with weight loss. This is how I have lost over 120 pounds. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come on over, join us there. It's free, it's supportive, and we would love to have you. So I'm really excited to share how my week went, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. So let's jump in. friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a great week. I had a very, 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 very busy week. I have shared a few times here on my channel that I am gearing up for a much, much, much needed vacation. I am actually heading to Hawaii on September 15th through the 21st. I'm going with my best friend, Rachel, and my mother-in-law, and we are having a little girl's trip, a little girl's vacation, and I cannot wait. Because I'm going on vacation, I have been busier than normal with macros, nutrition coaching, filming videos, trying to pre-film as much as I can to give you content while I'm on vacation. And it has just been crazy busy, not to mention focusing on working out. As you know, I exercise seven days a week, Four days I spend one and a half to two hours in the gym and the other three days of the week I move my body, whether it is walking outside or walking on the treadmill or doing some type of cardiovascular exercise. So between exercise, diet, life, my family, preparing for vacation, nutrition coaching, YouTube, yeah, no, it's been a lot. It's been a really busy week and it is only going to get busier leading up to my vacation, hence why I'm very looking forward to my vacation. I've been getting a couple questions about whether or not I will be available while I'm in Hawaii. I will have my phone, but I am out of office. I am on vacation. I most likely will not be responding to really any DMs or instant messages. And of course, I won't be calculating macros or anything while I'm in Hawaii. My goal is to have all of the paid for macros done prior to leaving. And then any macros, one-on-one -on -one coaching, things like that, that are purchased while I'm on vacation will be completed once I return home. So if you've been thinking about having your macros done, your personalized macros and calories, or having a coaching session with me, and you want it sooner than later, I would recommend purchasing that now so that I can get that done for you before I head out on vacation. Speaking of vacation, I'll mention this again a few more times in videos in case you happen to miss this one, but there will be content while I'm in Hawaii, but there won't be all of my content. For example, there will not be a meal prep because I don't need a meal prep because I won't be here to eat it, but I am going to try to still get up my weigh-in video, my what I eat in a day, a Sunday video. There will be videos coming your way while I'm on vacation. So you will really just be missing my meal prep, but I will try to have as much content as possible pre-filmed and up for you guys while I'm gone. It's also a great time to catch up on videos maybe you've missed on my channel. You guys know I upload five days a week, so there's lots of content out there. So it's a good time to get caught up if you missed any videos. So now let's talk about my week. Like I mentioned, it's been busy. I've been working out. I did also want to share that when I checked in with my fitness coach this last Friday, I do check in with her once a week on Fridays. We made some major modifications. I had been calorie cycling and carb cycling that video is coming. That video will be out in the month of October for you where I talk all about the benefits of calorie and carb cycling for weight loss. We changed it up a little bit this last Friday. So I am no longer, at least right now, calorie and carb cycling. I have set calories every day and we actually increased my calories. Yes, even though I've continued to lose weight, we are increasing my calories 
because the whole philosophy of eat more to lose weight is absolutely true, true, true. So I'm actually eating more calories now and she also upped my protein pretty significantly. So it's been a challenge getting used to the higher protein, not so much the higher calories. I can get the calories in, but getting used to that higher protein has been a bit of a challenge this week. But as we've approached the end of the week, I got it. Like I'm hitting my protein goal and my calorie goal every single day. That is why it is so important to know what your calories and protein goals are. That is really truly essential for weight loss. So I had a great week, a busy week, but overall an absolutely fantastic week. I went out to eat three times this last week. Troy and I went out for lunch, we went out with my neighbor for her birthday, and we went out with my in-laws for dinner. So you can stay on track, you can stay in your calories, your points, whatever you're following, eat your protein, get your goals in, even if you're eating out multiple times in a week. I was able to still meet my calorie and protein goal every day, whether I ate at home or ate out. And that is part of just life and living a happy, healthy lifestyle. That's sustainable. We're gonna go out for dinner. We're gonna have events and parties thrown and sprung on us that we need to learn how to navigate. That is also part of healing your relationship with food so you know how to navigate these events and stay on track and still reach your goals. So this week was great. It was busy and it was really challenging and I am always, always up for a challenge. Before I jump in to my weigh-in for the week, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic. This is perfect timing for me because I have been so busy. This week's topic is how to tame your to-do list. I don't know about you, but my to-do list could use quite a bit of taming. Stressing over how we're going to fit everything into the week can be stressful and it can also play a negative part in our weight loss. Take a deep breath and repeat after me. I do not have to do it all. I do not have to do it all. Do you feel a little bit better now? Great. Let's focus on what we can accomplish and how to fit in whatever we can fit in. First thing we're going to do is list all the goal supporting tasks that you want to take on this week. Then circle the one, yes, the one that's most important to you and doable. Keep that in mind considering what else you have going on this week. Maybe your goal is to meal prep your dinners, go to the gym three times or write in your journal. If you can't manage a whole to-do list, tweak it. Could you prep for just three dinners and focus on that. Narrow down your to-do list and focus on what is the most doable, reasonable goal on your to-do list this week. Number two is break down that one task into smaller steps possible. Then make a plan for when you'll do each one and what you might need to check those off. Maybe you want to check the WW app for inspiration and make your menu for the week. Write out your grocery list, go to the store, chop up your vegetables, marinate your proteins, and prep anything you can prep, and then you'll be able to cook your three meals tomorrow night. Basically, plan ahead, prep ahead, have three dinners ready to go. So when you come home from work or a busy day and you're like, I cannot do one more thing, those meals are prepped and all you have to do is throw them in the oven, the air fryer, the instant pot or on the stovetop. So let's dive just a little bit deeper. I don't know about you, but I love a good to-do list. I am a list maker. I am very type A, I'm very organized. I love lists. I love a good to-do list. I feel like we like making the list, but it's getting those items done that can be a little bit more challenging. And if we keep adding more and more and more to our list, we're basically setting ourselves up for failure. We may not even get through the initial list, not to mention everything we've added to it throughout the week. Give yourself permission to let the items that are less important, less doable, maybe a little bit more time consuming than you have time for, let those fall off of your to-do list and don't feel bad about it. Focus on the task that need to get done and the tasks that are going to benefit your weight loss. Meal prepping, planning your meals, going to the grocery store, stocking your health with stocking your house with healthy snacks, fruits, vegetables, lean proteins. One thing we have to remember is we don't have to do it all to be successful. If we just do a couple of the things on our to-do list, it's still a success. We still were able to cross things off our list and we were able to accomplish tasks throughout our busy, busy week. Your journey should fit into your life, not take it over. We, our weight loss, our healthy lifestyle should fit into our day-to-day -day life, not be what fully encompasses every aspect of our life. When you learn balance and when you learn that your to-do list fits into your life, not your life fits into do, to your to-do list, that's really when you see big results and when you actually get to cross off those items on that to-do list and let things drop off and feel completely okay about it. 
I love this topic because like I said, I am always busy and now I am like double busy because of planning for my trip to Hawaii. And I have to be okay with things on my list that aren't that important to let those fall off and focus on what's important to me. Tracking my food, getting in my workout, drinking my water, staying on track, mental clarity, doing things that make me feel good. Maybe it's watching TV for a couple hours at night, letting one of the tasks drop off to relax for a couple hours at night. Spend time with your kids, your husband, your pets. Make sure that you're filling your cup because we can't pour from an empty cup. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in. Like I mentioned, I killed it with my activity. I've been really busy. I've been out to eat three times this week. We upped my calories, we upped my protein, and when I stepped on the scale today, I am down 1.6 pounds, almost two pounds this week, coming off of my cycle, eating more calories, eating more protein, feeling really good and satisfied with the foods that I'm eating, indulging and in going out to eat three times, I still lost 1.6 pounds. That is proof that eating more to lose weight is important, enjoying life, fitting weight loss into your life, not your life into weight loss. That is what is about, that is where balance comes in. And that's how, why I always say, I don't feel like I'm on a diet. This is my life. I will be doing what I'm doing right now for the rest of my life. While I continue to lose weight, once I hit my goal weight, this is my life and I love it. I absolutely love it. I have come such a long way from strictly doing WW and always being hungry and unsatisfied and not eating enough and feeling fatigued and tired and miserable to where I am today where I have complete food freedom. I've healed my relationship with food and macros and protein is the best decision I have ever, ever, ever made. And I can say that with every fiber of my soul. That is why I always tell you how important it is to get your macros and calories done. You will not be sorry. You won't regret it. It's literally going to change your life. I'm going to pop up here on the screen my total weight loss and we are starting September off strong. Let me know down in the comments, how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Are you so busy that you need to let things go on your to-do list? And how are you going to navigate letting things go that aren't that important? Share your tips and tricks down in the comments. We all could use it. We all could use tips and tricks on how to live a more balanced life overall. And of course, check out the description box for those personalized macros and calories. Please have them done. Again, I can't recommend them enough. And nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Come join my Facebook group and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right here for you. I will not be vlogging my trip to Hawaii, but I will be on Instagram sharing the entire trip with you. So make sure you follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.